First up, an action RPG based on some of the most Gotham Knights. members of the Bat family. Maybe you've heard of Gotham Knights? Let's play. Oh, I know this for Gotham Knights. Okay, Gotham City. Batman. Bruce Wayne is dead? They're dead? I they had a handle on this city. I doubt they're dead. I doubt they're dead. Batgirl, Nightwing. They never did. Red Hood. You're Robin. Well, Don't Tim Drake, Robin. Chance. Because they're always watching. Always listening. Pulling everybody's strings. Mine. Yours. The Court of Owls and Talon? But no one talks about them. Not a Coppel pie. word is said. The Court of Owls is a myth. <laughs> They're listening. It is the Court of Owls. Gameplay footage or or just a cinematic trailer? Why is Backer wearing a mask? Wearing the the Port of Owl mask. Is that Alfred? You really want to go down this rabbit hole? You need to know there's no coming back from it. Gotham Knights. Okay, so are we gonna see like uh, more gameplay? <laughs> Behind the scenes of the Court of Owls. One of the joys of writing comics is the hope that someone will take that story and make it something their own. I remember that. And. I think the folks at Warner Brothers have done a tremendous job translating and evolving the Court of Owls into the game. The fans, they cosplays these characters, they're hungry for more. And so here you are getting to play out that, that conflict in the game itself. I remember taking this walk around New York City to my old neighborhood. Nothing I knew was there anymore. All of the people I had known had moved away. Um, all of the stores were gone. The feeling was so unsettling, and I wanted to craft a story that would make Bruce Wayne feel the way I felt. The first time I read that story, I was just blown away because they were creating this really rich secret history of Gotham City, very plausible, believable, that was in direct opposition to Batman. I think probably the inspiration uh, for The Court of Owls originates from nature just by the real fact that the owl is a natural predator to the bat. What an owl does a lot of the time is it hunts you and it stalks you without you seeing it and the fun of the way that the court goes after Bruce is to watch him from afar <clears throat> for years. Because it's been something that's been in Gotham for so long and been so powerful and right beneath Batman's nose, I think that's the, the root of the success there. One of the biggest challenges with bringing the Court of Owls from comic books to video games is really the interactive nature of what video games are. How do you take that history, how do you take this cool imagery and bring it to life in a game that's very satisfying? We could look at the source material, we could talk to the creators, and we could ask their opinions about that. We could say, what, which of these elements do you think we can translate? When I went out there to see what they were doing with the game, I was blown away. I mean. It took what we had done with Court of Owls, but it just elevated it beyond a lot of the borders that we had had. You can't really rely on what you think you know about the court. We have expanded, we have added to it. There are different varieties of talons in Gotham Knights. And as the players begin to understand through gameplay the unique strengths and vulnerability of the talent, it will affect how they equip themselves and how they unlock new abilities. So like okay. any good RPG, we're presenting you with a problem and then we're presenting you with a range of potential solutions and players will have an opportunity to kind of maximize that according to their own style. The entire team has worked so hard on this and put so much love in 
dedication into this, and I really hope it comes through and it Black gives them a really enjoyable experience. I can't wait for us to share more information about this game. But watch out for those deadly talents, because they are sharp. Be careful. I'm gonna, for sure, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be playing as a, as Nightwing and Red Hood all the time. I mean, Nightwing is actually one of my favorite members of the Bat Family, so the that's where The Court of Owls looks truly sinister. I can't wait to know more about those mysterious men.